Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the worst cheater of all time. And in my opinion, he is worse than Bricini. This guy creates a deck, a deck state where you cannot beat him. He's unbeatable when he does his cheat. His cheat is he draws seven cards that he has already pre-planned. It's either in his lap or he palms it on top of his deck. Regardless, he has seven cards, one of them being Pack of Negation, and you cannot beat him. You cannot beat him no matter what your hand is because he will just combo off turn one. Meaning on the play, before you even play your first land, he's already won the game. On the draw, he's got Pack of Negation to help him uh, counter Force Spike or I don't know what else you would have to interact with a deck on turn one, but he has a counter for it. So you might say to yourself, wow, that seems like, well, it seems pretty bad. But the cherry on top of the ice cream is he brags about how awesome of a magic player he is and how awesome this deck that he plays is. The reason people don't play this deck is your odds of drawing that god hand, that exact seven card hand that protects you, that gives you an automatic turn one win is very low. You're not Steven Speck. You're not going to get that hand 100% of the time, which is why Steven Speck is so good at what he does, is he, he gets that god hand 100% of the time. Uh, I, I disagree with Wizards of the Coast, and I agree with Twitter and Reddit that the guy should be banned more than 36 months. Uh, it seems kind of embarrassing to me, honestly. Uh, this guy cheats at such a level, and he brags about cheating. Uh, there's a tweet by him saying, I'm gonna get this deck banned. Yeah, cause you're gonna, you're pulling the turn one win every single game you're playing. Cause you're palming the cards and it's just insane. Like it's like playing Mahjong or it's playing poker and you're just taking like car, it's playing poker with an extra deck or stacking the deck in your favor. It's playing Mahjong where you already have, you pick up exactly the tiles you need in the very beginning. It's playing Magic where you have a seven card hand that cannot be beat in Modern. And you keep getting that hand, and then you brag about it, and then you say, oh, I'm a good player, you suck. And he was a judge as well. I don't know what to say about this, except absolutely unacceptable. Um, absolutely unacceptable. Uh, if you're gonna pull some Yu-Gi-Oh! Exodia stuff on it, pull it once, you know, once every, I don't know, 25 time games you can pull it, but not every single game. I mean, it's so obvious why people are not playing Amulet Bloom, the deck over Splinter Twin, is because they're not like you, Steven Speck, and they cannot pull Exodia. They cannot pull the seven card combo, turn out game after game, match after match, Eventually, I don't know what you expected to happen. Eventually, somebody would have been like, wait, the odds are so improbable, you're probably doing something wrong, or you're probably cheating. And that's what he was doing, and he was bragging about it. I really don't hope, in my opinion, there are some people in this community who have done some actions that have indicated to me that they don't belong in this community. Uh, who would want to play a guy who in turn one always beats you? You have no chance of winning. And it's not because the deck is awesome. It's not because the player is amazing. It's because he's cheating.